Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Mortgage Matters and Minutes. Again, I'm your host, Brent Rasmussen, and owner of Mortgage Specialists. So today's topic that we're going to speak about and actually is our 80th episode of Mortgage Matters and Minutes. Thank you for all sticking with us over this last year plus. And uh, I can't believe when I went back and took my notes that this is Mortgage Matters and Minutes 80. So anyways, the question today is actually an older blog that uh, had a couple questions from clients this week that we found. And many people ask, why should we go with you here locally or mortgage specialists compared to all the online uh, companies that are out there, all the advertisements I see on TV or on the internet. And the topic today is the one thing that you should never do completely online, which is doing anything legal, anything financial, and anything with real estate, I don't feel should be done completely online. So let me explain uh, what I mean by that. First, we can do everything we would like now on the internet from buying products to shipping to communications. Now we can use obviously AI to make ourselves uh, write differently. We can make ourselves look differently. Uh, we can do anything we want. But when it comes to uh, a mortgage, there's a lot of advertisements and a lot of choices. So what we want to chat with you about today is using someone local in your community, while you might be able to use the internet, don't use someone online, meaning someone across the country out of town lender. A lot of people go to the internet to get their information, search for interest rates, search for how to get approval. Getting your questions answered isn't a bad thing to do, but starting the process of getting pre-approved and going through your mortgage is something that you definitely need to use a person and someone that you can talk to that's a true professional. In getting a mortgage, there's lots of communications, lots of questions. These things don't always come up eight to five. And not every question can you put in an email uh, to ask the provider uh, what it is. A lot of times there needs to be conversations that are longer and more elaborate than a three to 10 page email that we could write back and answer your questions. Again, what I have experienced from some out of town lenders, online lenders, is that there's a lot of turnover with those particular companies. When they're busy and they're doing well, they have lots of people to answer the phones to help. When markets slow down and change, they might look for a different career path, different job. Here at Mortgage Specialist, this is all we do, this is all we have done, and we're gonna be here to help answer your questions five, 10, 20 years from now. Not all MLOs are the same. A lot of them have different knowledge, experience, um, and been through trials and tribulations, working with clients of the emotional aspect of what they're going through in finding a house or having emotional situations where they might have had a bad financial situation and you need to help guide them and get them up to speed. The questions that come up to help answer and guide people, again, can happen in the weekends or in the evenings, or if there is a problem that arises during your transaction, you want to be able to pick up the phone and talk to someone. I've ran into many individuals that have started with their pre-approval or their mortgage online, and there was a lot of communications via text, email, but when push came to shove, there was no one to talk to in regards to answering your questions. Having a conversation over the phone or face-to-face -face, sometimes, and I feel most of the time, can alleviate any of the stresses or any of the information that you need to know. And if it's only available through emails and text, we have those abilities to do as well. But you want the option to always turn to uh, communication of face-to-face. -face. And as Realtors will explain to you, if that person is out of town or only unavailable on a text or email, and the problem arises, they can't show up in that person's office to have a conversation with them to say, hey, what is really going on? What do we need to solve here and make these things happen? One suggestion I give people is I live and I work in a community that you're purchasing. I don't want to make mistakes. I don't want to have you have a bad experience because I'm going to run into you at the local grocery store, at the movie theater, at the baseball field. I don't want to be humiliated to run into you because I did something to mess up your loan. We see these stories each and every day that maybe the out of town lender or the online lender doesn't have that same emotional aspect. Again, you can do your application online. You can send your documentations to people with an email or through an upload feature online. But something that you should do with a mortgage, never completely online, is only work with a 
mortgage company that's going to use email text and not have a conversation or a face-to-face -face communication with you. That is something that I'd highly suggest you do with all of your aspects, legally, financially, and real estate, having a person that you know and can go to and trust to answer the questions for you and give you the correct guided information, making the process as seamless and easy and stress-free as it is for you. So I hope you learned a little bit here of the differences maybe between going all online and only looking at interest rates versus talking with someone that is professional, local, that can help guide you and answer any of your questions similar to what I'm doing here today. I'm Brent Rasmussen, owner of Mortgage Specialists. We would greatly appreciate if you would subscribe and listen to more of our real estate and mortgage education of my personal experience in talking with clients each and every day. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time here at Mortgage Specialist, Mortgage Matters in Minutes. Mortgage Specialists, driven, trusted, reliable.